Hey now, I'm Wit, and today an unboxing of a Swedish dive watch, the Malm Commander. Sweet. Ah, cool. Piano finish, uh, lacquered box. Wow. We've definitely got some reflections there, but ooh, that is a nice display box. I bet it's under here. Cleaning cloth. You ready? Oh, we can't see it. Too much glare. Look at that. Man, I gotta tell you, I never really get excited about silver dials. And then when I see them in person, uh, I just, I think it's one of my favorites. <laughs> it's so hard to convince me, you know, seeing them in pictures. But like I said, when they show up, man, let me go in tight to dig on this some more. Look at that sun ray. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, real quick, I saw some pull-ups on this box, so I want to see what else is underneath here. Okay, looks like warranty card, and in here, got the extra links, probably from the previous reviewer. This is a reviewer's watch, so it goes around. And um, the micro-adjust tool, a spring bar tool, and screwdriver. All right, so that tells us it's probably screw links for the bracelet. And outside of the package, uh, they sent me some uh, straps uh, to check out for the watch as well. These are not included, uh, but they do sell these separately. I'm really digging this rally leather strap. I have to check that out. Uh, but yeah, they all have the uh, Malm uh, signature on their buckle. So these are available on their website as well. But let's check out the watch some more. Man, can we just right off the bat give a shout out to classic style knurling. Look at that crown and bezel. Man, I love that. You can grip it so easily. Uh, you know, this just, oh. I could dig this crown to be a little bigger. It's kind of small, but it works because of that awesome knurling. Man, uh, just one of my favorite knurling styles. That just screams tool watch, right? You've noticed the case doesn't have any polish. It's all brushed. Uh, and then with that classic knurling. And so speaking of tool watch, you just noticed right away that the bezel is a compass uh, feature. Uh, so this is a 120 click bi-directional bezel. So you can use that compass feature easily so it have to spin all the way around. A brief tutorial if you're not sure how to use your watch as a compass. Uh, in the northern hemisphere, you point the hour hand directly at the sun and then line up south uh, halfway between where the sun uh, is and noon and then now you'll have north. It's not exact but it's uh, definitely uh, something to get you your bearings. And so that is the idea of this watch is that uh, it could be a navigational aid. This was originally designed with members of the Swedish Navy to commemorate their 500 year anniversary. It's one of the oldest navies uh, in the world. Let me go in a little tighter and get you some of those features that are uh, related to the Navy and the design of this watch. Uh, the second hand, look at that, uh, so sweet with that uh, yellow arrowhead tip. But the other side, the counterbalance, that is the rank of commander. You see the Malm commander. And then did you see the uh, red swath of color here around the outer edge of the dial and the green on this side? You're probably thinking, well, that's kind of a weird like design choice, right? Like why doesn't it, why does it go like further? Why doesn't it stop say there at the nine and here at the three, right? Well, that is a 112.5 degrees spread. And you'll notice that the red is similar to the lanterns on a ship, uh, red on port and green on starboard. And 112.5 degrees is the required spread of those forward lanterns so you can see the vessel uh, from the side. And then around on the back, uh, I'll show you, well, first of all, the clasp, uh, it's got the mom signature uh, on the safety lock, a double push button release, and a milled clasp. You've got six micro adjusts, but look at this case back. There's a 3D compass rose. This is inspired by various compasses on old Swedish ships. 
Man, I love cool case backs. I mean, this is so much better than having a display case back, uh, especially for this movement, which is an uh, NH35. And you can see you've got north, south, west, O, right? You're thinking, oh, what is O? Well, east is Ost in Swedish, O-S-T. While we're here, we'll look at the uh, rest of the case back as well. You can see the screw-in case back. Linkopin, Sweden is where the watch is assembled. Uh, you see the Commander uh, .314 is the model number. 200 meters of water resistance, Malm automatic. And then one more tie-in is the etched anchor on the crown, which is the symbol of the Swedish Navy. The Commander is 42 millimeters in diameter, 50 millimeters lug to lug, 53 millimeters if you include the male end links, 20 millimeter lug width, and the bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeters at the clasp, 13.7 millimeters in thickness, and it weighs 184 grams with all links on the supplied bracelet. This is a double dome sapphire crystal with two layers of anti-reflective coating. And again, looking at this dial, we can see those applied indices now when you check them out from the angle there, they have kind of a, a black outline to uh, give some great contrast against that silver dial and then matches that black handset as well. And then a black framed date window. And this is running the uh, Seiko NH35, as I mentioned, beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, 24 joules, 41 hour power reserve, hacking and hand winding in addition to automatic winding and a stated accuracy of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. Let's check out the loom. Yeah, nice and crisp. This is Swiss Superluminova C1. And you'll notice that uh, it's just the dial portion. The uh, bezel doesn't have any uh, loom uh, on that insert. Um, and again, I guess I should call this more of a tool watch than a diver. Uh, I just meant it has a dive style case. Uh, obviously 200 meters of water resistance as well. Uh, that's a great uh, tool watch, right? You can see the application looks to be pretty even and uh, across the handset and the indices. Uh, and uh, everything's loomed up. Okay, let's see what it looks like on my wrist. But first, today I'm wearing the Seiko Time Sonar tribute uh, to their own uh, previous watch with its translucent dial. I got a video of it right here. This is the SRPJ45. <laughs> Just man, I've really enjoyed this watch. Uh, now I get the hype between behind the uh, SKX uh, case. So this has a similar. Uh, this is the you know uh, Dress KX or 5KX. And there it is. Wow. That is nice and sharp. That's a beautiful watch. Like I said, man, don't sleep on silver dials. They just, uh, I mean, you could easily wear this as a dress watch, right? Uh, yet it's so rugged and toolish. I've got an eight inch wrist and uh, you can see it's sized for me pretty well right out of the box. I love that. Uh, I'm on what, a couple, yeah, three over from the largest uh, of the uh, micro adjust holes. Uh, and there were, what, I think two extra links in the uh, box. So if you have larger than an eight inch wrist, this is gonna fit you just fine. The Mom Commander, you get that premium wooden box with its suede interior, uh, some strap tools. There is a five year warranty on this watch. I love that these manufacturers are really standing behind their product, uh, you know, to see more than a one year, a two year warranty, five years, that's so cool. This is 547 US dollars full retail. Uh, that is the price uh, on the day of this recording. Of course, the prices are set in Swedish krona, so uh, there will be a conversion. It will, you know, fluctuate uh, with that conversion from day to day. What are your thoughts on this one? I really dig the red and green uh, with that 112.5 degrees uh, spread. That is just the one of the coolest tie-ins uh, to a naval watch that I've seen in, in quite some time. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money. <laughs>